Hello people of the internet and welcome back to various tutorials. This will be the first video of a series of videos I will make on how to modify and homebrew your Xbox original. But before you can homebrew your Xbox you obviously need to establish an FTP connection so that you can FTP over files from your computer onto your Xbox. Now there are a lot of things you, that, that can go wrong and a lot of things that you might not know about this so if you're having problems with doing this uh, there might, might likely be a fix for you in today's episode. First of all I need to establish that there are many ways of FTPing. Well essentially there are two ways. One you can put a Ethernet cable going from your Xbox directly into your router uh, and that is one way. Another way is to directly put the Ethernet cable into your PC. Then you need a special cable. I do not have a tutorial for that version. There is probably some out there you can have a look. But if you want to do the tutorial, if you want to tag along with the tutorial I'm doing now, make sure you have these prerequisites. First of all, an internet connection is vital for this. We need it both for the PC and the Xbox. We need a normal internet cable long enough to go from your Xbox to your router. Now this cannot be the same internet co uh, cable that is going from your PC to your router. Both of them need to be hooked up at the same time. You need a normal internet cable because on the back of the Xbox there's a normal internet jack for you. So you just put that into the jack and then put the other side of the internet cable into your router. Now you will also need a PC from which you can transfer the files. It doesn't matter which kind of PC so long as it is also connected by an internet cable into the same router. That is important. Three, uh, uh, four, you need a soft modded or shipped Xbox. That is also vital. You cannot do this with a vanilla Xbox. You need it to be either soft modded using the Tom Clancy Mech Assault glitch or you need to have it shipped. Uh, five, you preferably need a large HDD that you have swapped for the Xbox original one. This is however not necessary if you are just going to play emulate, uh, emulator games. I will have a tutorial up on how to uh, how to download a program called XBMC Emu Station later on. So if you are going to emulate games you, you might not need a larger HDD. But if you want to run Xbox original game backups then you will definitely need an HDD because an Xbox original game is all the way from 200 megabytes all the way up to 4, 5, even 6 gigabytes in extreme cases such as Rally Sport Challenge 2. So you need to be perfectly prepared for that. So in order to do many of the things you will have to have a larger HDD just to be able to run things. However you do not need a larger HDD if you're just doing um, emulation stuff. Now let's get on to what you need to do in order to FTP from your, uh, from your ex uh, computer to your Xbox. Okay. So first of all guys we need a program uh, with which you can FTP. So we are using a program called FileZilla. I have a link down below in the description. You can also see it here, FileZilla-project.org. You want to download the client. You do not want to download the FileZilla server. You want to download the client, then pick your platform and then install it, okay? I don't need to show you how to do so. I believe you can do that yourself. So just install FileZilla and then I will be right back because there are a few settings that need to be done before we can start with the actual FTP process. 
All right, so you've downloaded FileZilla, good job. Now I'm going to show you what you need to do. Now this might be a little bit different for you because obviously my FileZilla is in Swedish, but I will try to translate to the best of my ability and you should be able to be, be following along quite nicely with this tutorial, so don't worry. Uh, press edit and then you will find settings at the very furthest down press settings you will now get a new window that will look like this now there are some settings we need to change before we can go ahead and connect with our xbox and this is very very necessary so first of all you want to be uh, be sure that when you go to uh, transfers here, you have a maximal amount of uh, simultaneous transfers. You want that to be set to four. You never want it to be higher than four. You want this number to be four. We will set it later on the Xbox to five, but you wanna make sure that on your PC, it is actually four, okay? That is very, very, very important. All right, so once again, a very, very vital portion is to go to FTP file types and make sure instead of auto, you don't want auto, you want binary because the Xbox original console can only read binary. So you need to have this put to binary or all the files you send over will be instantaneously corrupted and you don't want that to happen. So definitely make sure to put this to binary. After you've done these two steps, so once again, putting this to four and then putting the types to binary, you can then press OK and it will save the settings. Make sure to press the OK button and not the cross. If you press the cross, the settings will not change. If you press OK, the settings will change. All right. All right. So this next part will actually take uh, place on your Xbox console. So if you do not have uh, your Xbox console started, definitely start it up now. Uh, there are going to be some things here which I'm going to have to blur because uh, my IP and all of that will be showing and I do not particularly want to show those with the world. But what you want to do, oh yeah, your Unleash X might look like this and it, or it might not, but it doesn't matter because the things are called exactly the same. So no matter how your interface looks, just pay attention to the names of the of the settings. The settings menu itself will look the same, I assure you. So go to Xbox Admin and then go to System, okay? Then you want to go to Settings. And that is the same on each layout, each skin. So don't worry, if you have a different skin than me, it won't uh, matter. Just go into those settings. Then you want to press Network, okay? And then you will show you your IP and all of that. I will have blurred mine. But the thing you are interested in here is making sure that FTP is enabled and that the username and password is set to Xbox. You want to make sure that you have the max number of users set to five, no higher than five, but five to match the four you've put on FileZilla. And then after that, you want to make sure your type is DHCP. This is very important. And I think this is what a lot of people are having trouble with. This has to be DHCP. Then these three will become gray, uh, but that is totally fine. And we can move on to the next step. So that's all we need to do on the Xbox. However, don't turn off your Xbox now. Leave it on uh, and follow the next steps. All right, so with those Xbox settings set, you are now good to go. Now you want to put your IP in. Also, it would be advisable to restart your Xbox after applying these settings and make sure to apply the settings as well. I did not tell you that, but obviously apply all of the settings. It will ask you, do you want to apply? Press yes, I want to apply. And then you restart your Xbox just to be certain. And then if the IP shows up as your IP uh, on the starting menu, you know you've done the correct job. Now you can should be able to just write your IP into this. 
and then write your username and password and then press uh, you don't even need to worry about the port it's it's going to add to automatically uh, put it as 21 as that is the default um, port for uh, FTPing. so now you just need to press quick connect or whatever this button says I don't really know in English and then you press that and you can see it will say this server does not support FTP over TLS. If you continue, your password and files will be sent in clear over the internet. And you always press, always allow uh, insecure plane for the uh, FTP for the server because this is nothing uh, om ominous. This is nothing that is going to hurt you. Just press OK. And now you should be in there. All right, so now that we are in here, if we want to transfer something, you want to make sure that you're transferring it to the correct, uh, the absolutely correct uh, drive. So if you have a uh, modified um, drive, you should have the F drive as your modified drive. If you do not, you should use the E drive. Now, if you go into the F drive, you will probably not have a folder called games. If you do not, just make one. Games with a capital G. If you have a one uh, already, use that. Then you go into games and then you can just drag and drop your file, your uh, Xbox backup, into the games folder. Now, if you want to do emulation, you have to go into apps, uh, applications here. And then if you have Emu Station uh, installed, you have it right there and Emu Station and then emulate, I mean ROMs and you just pick whichever uh, system you're emulating. Now I will make a full tutorial on Emu Station, how to get it and how to install it and also how to use it. So that will be coming up. But that is basically it on how to FTP um, your... Um, how to FTP over files from your PC onto your Xbox. Thank you for watching this tutorial.